Now, he's the man that needs no introduction, but we're going to give him one anyway. Philip Norton looks back at the incredible career of Bjorn Olvaeus with ABBA. The music of ABBA has been loved by generations. Soon audiences who had a dream were knowing me, knowing you, taking a chance on the Swedish pop giants and super trooping around clubs as dancing queens. Together with Benny, Agnetha and Frida, Bjorn helped rocket the group to become one of the biggest bands of the 1970s, their songs dominating the charts. Their music is so well loved it led to the creation of the film franchise based around their hit Mamma Mia in 2008, co-produced by Bjorn. And 50 years on from their worldwide debut on Eurovision, ABBA are still selling out venues, using AI to feature the artists in their prime for their virtual concerts in London. As I say, uh, this afternoon I went to talk to Bjorn. Bjorn, welcome to Bridlington. Welcome to the north of England. Thank you. You don't often come to the north of England. No, and that, that was, when I was asked to do this, I thought that this is an opportunity for me to see the north of England. I planned to rent a car and drive around, but sadly I have to go back. You're a busy man. Yes. The busy sh I wonder how many interviews you've done in the last 50 years. Do you dread them? No, not at all. I take them as, you know, conversations. And it always works unless you ask me for my favorite ABBA song or something like that and that would really hack you off wouldn't that, it that would yeah <laughs> or, 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 what is it i once heard you know if you get in the car uh, and there's an ABBA record on do yeah, you sing yeah. do you sing along with yeah, it yeah that's that's that, that is one a common one too get back to the eurovision but they're celebrating the 50 years aren't mm. they um have you forgiven this country <laughs> for, for no points mm. well, I, I sure have and it, it's unbelievable that that it, we actually got zero points I right? because I remember from when we had one in Brighton we were taken straight up to London we did top of the pops and from the word go the, the Brits were you know welcoming us modesty aside why do you think that ABBA were and still are so huge and also huge with like 14 16 year old girls mm. youngsters I mean it's hard to understand isn't it it's very hard to understand and you can look at numbers and intellectually you understand and you acknowledge that yes this has happened but emotionally to to get it is very difficult and, and to explain it is impossible. Did you ever think that a technology created ABBA could be this much of a hit or even happen? No, it, it, it began as an experiment, as, as Mamma Mia did. Uh, someone said, uh, you should do digital copies of yourselves and then you can do anything with those. And that's how it started. I mean, you have a great interest in artificial intelligence, don't you? I mean, it, mm. is it going to help the music industry? I mean, is it going to make a, a good songwriter better or is it going to ruin songwriters, do you think? It's going to make songwriting different. Uh, whether it's going to be better, I don't know. And nobody knows that yet. It's only just begun, but it's, it's going to affect as society as a whole, indeed, the music industry very, very much. I was reading the other day um, an article. It says, the winner takes it all is the perfect pop song. It said the lyrics are phenomenal. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. The, the actual words from the article, the perfect pop song. Mm, wow, I, hadn't, I haven't read that. You must send it to me. I will send it to you. <laughs> yes. I'll send it to you. It's very, very flattering. I don't know if that's... Uh, well, it's good. It I, I mean, good. We, we, we had such a kick writing it. You know, we realized, oh, wow, we have something here that's extraordinary. It's so fascinating to chat with you. You are music god, and it's fantastic to, uh, to meet you. Now, in Bridlington, everybody eats fish and chips. 
Are you going to have some fish and chips today? I already have. Have you had? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had They're some looking fish after and chips you then, are they? <laughs> and, and I ate them uh, out of this cone, a newspaper cone. Yeah. Yes, yes. It tastes good. Fantastic to meet you, Bjorn. Thank very you. Good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Wish you well. Thank you.